Hey guys, it's Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm here to show you the 2023 Timber Ridge 24 RLS in the Titanium series. So one of the biggest questions we get is which models in the Outdoors RV lineup come in under 30 feet overall length? Uh, a lot of people reason that you, in order to get into the national parks or small state parks, you want to have a trailer that's under 30 feet. So in the Outdoors RV lineup, in the Creekside and the Timber Ridge, basically any Creekside is going to fall into that category. When you get up into the Timber Ridge, you've got the 22 FQS, the 24 RKS, or this 24 RLS. Personally, in my opinion, the 24 RLS gives you the most bang for your buck while staying under 20, excuse me, 30 feet. So it comes in at 28 foot eight, tip to tip, exactly the same as the 24 RKS. So they're the exact same length, tip to tip, but just a few different features uh, between the two. So the reason that I like this one the best is I love all of the windows. I love the kitchen and I also love the bathroom. Uh, there's a lot more storage than one would think in this floor plan. Unlike the 24 RKS where all of the storage is in one location, this one has a pantry and a little coat closet, but they're just separate. So it doesn't look like as much storage, but there is actually quite a bit of storage in this floor plan. One thing you would gain on the 24 RKS over this model would be three sleeping areas, the main bed, the dinette, as well as a sleeper sofa. So this one, you have the two rear chairs. There isn't enough, enough depth right here to put in a sleeper sofa or theater seating. So you're gonna have the two rocker recliners. So you walk in the back door, obviously you have picture windows right back here. You have a bank of storage up top, some reading lights, two rocker recliners. Over in the slide out, you're gonna get Outdoors RV's famous mountain dinette with the rock solid table. Those are marine grade legs, table legs and hardware. High density foam cushions. You have a huge pot and pan drawer on each side with a lock. And those go to about here. So you do have a little extra storage from there back. You just have to take off the cushion to access that. Because it's a titanium, all of this is gonna be wood trimmed. And then the titanium comes with the blackout shades. So that's a really nice feature, um, especially for people who just like to keep their trailer a little cooler, a little darker. Everything has dual pane windows, two inch thick sidewalls. So outdoors RVs are designed to be able to be camped in year round. So whether it's extreme heat or extreme cold. One thing I haven't mentioned um, in a long time is we always like to think of an outdoors RV with the two inch thick sidewalls. I'll show you that. So when you take apart the dinette, they actually use the wall. So this is the fiberglass, the two inch virgin foam uh, insulation, and then the interior wall. This is when they've cut out a window, they actually cut them down to size and that is what you get in your dinette. So if you're out looking at travel trailers and you tear apart another dinette of any other brand, you've never seen something that's gonna have that thick of a bottom uh, to support the cushions, let alone the high density foam that they use here. So their construction is second to none um, on their dinette. But my point was that that two inch thick sidewall, if you think of this whole entire travel trailer, like a Yeti cooler, right? So you take this Yeti cooler and you cut a hole in the side, that's gonna be your slide out. What they do is they take that same exact construction for the bottom of the slide, the walls, every bit of the slide out, and it's built exactly the same. So it's like a Yeti cooler with a Yeti cooler. Often you'll see other brands, obviously they're not even gonna be built like a Yeti cooler to begin with, but when they do their slide out, it's thinner, smaller, not insulated. They don't insulate the floor. So you're gonna lose all of your heat and all of your air right out the slide out. With Outdoors RV, part of their Four Seasons package is the quality of each wall in that slide out and the walls and the, the floors, everything in the trailer itself so that you can camp year round. Coming over here, 
You've got a little bit of storage right up here. It'd be perfect for DVDs, CDs, something of that nature. If anybody still uses those, maybe that's just me. Right down here, a little bit more storage. This section is not deep enough to do the fireplace. I get asked that a lot. How come there's no fireplace in this model? It's just not deep enough. You have to go up to the 25 RDS to get the fireplace. But again, then you're going to be over the 30 foot mark. A little more storage here. 12 volt flat screen Jensen TV. Also a CD, DVD, stereo, and Bluetooth player right here. There's speakers throughout the coach and then also outside as well. So you can actually Bluetooth your phone, play music either inside or outside or both. There's also a, a 12 volt charging station right here and a USB port so you can plug it in, set your phone right here, as well as a 110 outlet right behind the TV. So the kitchen, I really like the kitchen in this model because it's just nice and easy. Everything's easy access. You get an extra large spice rack, storage underneath the sink. All of the outdoors RVs are going to come with stainless steel farm style sink, single basin, and it has the wire rack in the bottom. Because this is a titanium, it's going to have the high arc faucet with the pull out sprayer. There's a lot of features on the titanium over the mountain series. Here at Thompson RV, we do almost all titaniums. We have a specific video that is all of those features. So if you're unfamiliar with all the differences, you're going to hear me point out a few of them. But really, if you don't know the differences, be sure and watch that video because it's going to show you everything that you get on that titanium, including the remote camping at your fingertips. So that's a little remote. If you're sitting outside, you can run your awning. If you want to walk around your trailer while you're putting the slide out out, you can use the remote to put your slide out out. So that's a really nice thing to have. Titanium comes with stainless steel appliances. All of the outdoors RVs use an extra large oven. The range comes with a glass uh, folding cover. So when you're not using the stove, this acts as extra counter space. When you are using the stove, you just open it up flip it back and you've got a three burner gas stove right back here this dead space behind the oven is a knife rack pot and pan drawer underneath the oven and then a bank of three drawers including a silverware tray little extra storage right over here and then coming over here so you've got the Norcold eight cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. And these are equipped with a cold weather kit, so they still work even in cold weather. And then right here, this is what they're calling a pantry. Of course, if you wanted to use it for extra clothing storage or any kind of storage for that matter, you totally could. You can use it for extra food, whatever, and then you've also got another couple of drawers. So one of the coolest features in the bathroom is going to be that the 24 RLS has the Neo Angle shower with the glass door. Titanium is going to have the upgraded hardware in the shower. Uh, this has a pretty tall ceiling as well as the skylight for a little extra room for all of you tall people out there. So I like the Neo Angle shower in this model. You also get a little extra counter space because it's a titanium. It's going to have the solid surface countertops with the underslung sink and the lit vanity mirror. Cabinet down below for extra storage. And then also this one has your toilet paper holder. So your toilet paper is actually hidden. I like that. And then you always get the hardwood medicine cabinet, some towel hooks, right above the porcelain toilet and some towel hooks over here on the shower side as well. We order all of ours with the Max Air Deluxe vent fan. So you get an exhaust Max Air fan in the bathroom. They've included a pump switch. They're starting to do that on all the models. So if you forget to turn the pump on or off at the main entry, you can also have a pump switch right in the bathroom. Heat duct and air conditioning duct. The 24 RLS is a double door model. It also has this extra closet at the foot of the bed. 
So there's a hanging rod in there as well as the shelf is removable. So if you need extra space, you can leave the shelf in. If you don't need that, you can actually remove it. And then there's a drawer right here as well. The bed has storage underneath it. So there's storage under here and then also a drawer on each side. And then there's a little cubby right here where you can kick shoes, slippers, flip-flops, but it gets them out of your path when you're walking around the bed. Titanium comes with the upgraded titanium mattress, solid surface countertops on the side, under cabinet lighting, reading lights, the padded headboard. And then also the titanium comes with the solid hardwood cabinet doors. So it's a raised panel. On each side of the bed in every model, you're going to get a 110 outlet, 12 volt outlet and USB port. And that's on both sides. This particular unit is equipped with solar. That is where your ZAMP charge controller goes. So you're going to have up to 510 watts of solar. So they're 170 watt panels and you can do up to three on the roof. And then you also have the option of doing a portable solar on the side of the trailer up to 200 watts. The titanium also features the bedroom TV. So that's a 12 volt, 19 inch with a DVD player in the side. In this particular model, it's gonna be right on the sidewall. It is on a swing arm, so you can swing that around and see it while you're laying in bed. With the slide out in, you can access the entire trailer, the refrigerator, bed, bathroom, everything with the exception of the entertainment center, the cabinets around the TV. We do recommend that you put the chairs back to back. You need to in order to get the slide out in. This one has to be sideways, but we recommend that you put them back to back for traveling. So again, 28 foot 8 to tip. And what's another cool thing is that you get two entry doors on the 24 RLS. So you have the entry door that walks right into the chairs in the rear and then also an entry door into the bedroom. Triple aluminum step on both as well as the aluminum grab bar handle. And because it's the titanium series, you get the elongated frameless window in each door as well as a blackout shade from the inside. Again, two inch thick sidewalls, fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So the ductwork from the heat actually is plumbed down into uh, the area that has the holding tanks. So those are not gonna freeze when you're running your heat. All outdoors RVs are equipped to, for off-road use and then also bad roads. So they have the off-road X4 suspension package. That's the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension, the heavy duty shackles, bronze bushings, greasable zerts, and also the KYB off-road shocks. Timber Ridge actually, even though it's on the eight inch chassis, comes standard from the factory with 15 inch wheels. Here at Thompson RV, we option everything we can with the 16. So this is gonna have 16 inch Goodyear load range E endurance tires. Oh, almost missed the water heater, 10 gallon water heater. This is where you're gonna fill your 80 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, because Outdoors RV builds their own chassis and they build them custom, they're able to put in bigger tanks uh, to accommodate staying out for longer. Solar on the roof, larger tank capacities, off-road ruggedness. It's the perfect thing to take and be able to camp in the backwoods, not have to be reliant on power or on uh, city water or anything like that. This is gonna be a vent and access to your refrigerator, vent and access to your 35,000 BTU furnace. This is a hatch to access your LP quick disconnect for a barbecue or a fire pit. 110 outlet for underneath your awning. And then you have your two outside speakers and then also your electric awning. That can also run off of the remote and there's a light in there that also runs off the remote and it also has the aluminum wrap to protect the fabric from weather. Titanium has the Lamalux 4000 high gloss fiberglass. Everything is equipped with the magnetic door catches, insulated exterior doors to keep cold air from going in here because your bed is right here. 
everything in here has also been insulated. So even if some cold air does get into your compartment, it's all insulated up to your bed. Rubberized diamond plate flooring. Because this is a titanium, it has the auto leveling system. That control is right inside this luggage compartment as well as one inside. So the unit actually, all titaniums, you push a button, the whole trailer auto levels itself. So you don't have to worry about rolling up on blocks or anything like that. Push of a button, trailer's level. Battery kill switch, and then also a USB port. So if you're out here under your awning listening to music, you can plug in your phone, set it right here. We also have a 12 volt outlet right here. So you can run one of the Dometic uh, portable 12 volt compressor style fridges. So that's kind of cool. That'll fit right in here. Again, you have an additional, up to an additional 200 watts of solar. This is not run through the charge controller. So the only um, stipulation there is you do want to have a ZAMP solar panel that has the charge portable panel so that the charge regulator is built into the panel because it's not running through the charge regulator that we saw in the bedroom. That's just for the roof mount panels. Slam latch luggage doors. Because the Timber Ridge is built on the eight inch chassis, anything from Outdoors RV with the big chassis is going to have the full fiberglass front cap. This is made by a company locally up in Yakima, Washington. They actually make all of the fiberglass parts for Boeing. So if it's good enough for an airplane, obviously it's gonna be high quality. And so Outdoors RV, because they try to only put the best quality products on their trailers, they source their front caps directly from that company. So that's pretty cool. This wraps all the way around and the seam is here at the side. So you've got the sidewall here. This wraps all the way around and the seams over here. That way you don't have a seam here that could, you know, if you're driving down the road, heavy rains, that could be a vulnerable spot. You also have the rhino lighting on the front to protect this lower half from rock chips. This is the toy lock. This comes in conjunction with the rear receiver hitch. Outdoors RV calls it the mountain storage package. So it comes with a 12 foot cable and a lock. So if you've got bicycles or a barbecue or something out here that you don't wanna walk away while you leave camp, you can run that cable and keep it secure. This particular model was ordered with the uh, four battery tray. I get asked this a lot. This is just the tray. That comes from the factory. So it fills in this piece behind the propane tanks. It's a trapezoid shaped piece of metal, sits right on top of the original angle iron, but that allows us to then put on our four battery box. So we have the powder coated aluminum locking box that we have made locally, but in order to put that on your trailer, you're also gonna need this four battery tray. Two seven and a half gallon propane tanks power tongue jack that works in conjunction with the auto leveling system, the hitch caddy so you can hook your safety chain, seven way cord and your breakaway cable up so they're not dangling down. Coming around, we've got the other side of your pass through storage so you can access that from both sides. Right over here, this is gonna be your black tank flush cable, satellite, 30 amp cord hookup. And then you've got kayak hatches so you can easily access your black and gray uh, dump valves. And then your 80 gallon fresh water tank valve is also right under here. So they give you a nice big drain for that as well. Insulated outside shower. And then this is where you would plug in if you were in a park and you didn't want to run off the tank and the pump, you would hook up to city water. Because it's a titanium, it's going to have the slide topper that's included in the titanium package. It is now an option to have the slide topper installed at the factory on the mountain and the backcountry series. So it used to be that we had to do that here. Now we can option it in from the factory. Coming around to the back, You've got the four inch steel bumper. This is again, that mountain storage package. So this is your two inch receiver. You, anything you can fit in a two inch uh, receiver on the back of your pickup. So like a bike rack, kayak rack, generator rack, whatever, up to 250 pounds, you can fit right in here. Backup lights, because it is the titanium series, 
and then also the backup camera. The big tube ladder to get on and off of your roof. We do recommend that you get up on your roof every six months to check the Dicor sealant. And then a full-size spare tire with a Thompson RV tire cover. So thank you so much for watching our video. Please give us a call if you have any questions. We're already starting to pre-order 2024 models. Um, so just give us a call if you have questions on a certain model. Typically, they're only going to be built once a year. So if there's one that you're looking for, we can help you figure out when it's going to be built or we might even have it on our lot. So just let us know if you have any questions. We have the number listed right down below. Thank you.